The biggest um, mistake that people make while working out is not focusing on the breath. Yeah. Um, so you're not supposed to breathe from your mouth. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, do you, are you aware of that? Yeah. So is that something that you enforce like when you're working, uh, when you're training your clients and then when you personally work out, mm -hmm. is, is breathing, does breathing play a very important role? Breathing obviously does play a very important role. Uh, there's something called as Valsa Manover. You, mm. are, you, are, you are aware of the fact? Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah. So uh, I read a book recently in which they said ki that is not the right way to breathe. Okay. Because you are creating a lot of stress on your organs and you're <coughs> holding your breath and you know you're creating a lot of pressure inside. So yeah, breathing obviously plays a huge part and breathing through, your, through the mouth not inhaling as far as I know inhaling but exhaling to be honest I'm not quite familiar with the concept of exhale, not exhaling through your mouth and just using nose to exhale because when you're using when you're doing a compound lifts because you're already out of breath and there's only so much you can breathe from your nose to be honest right so you, so you especially you if you're exhausted yeah so you recommend uh, blowing out through your mouth yeah. especially when it, when the going gets tough right yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes the ear lift easier yeah okay yeah. but uh, otherwise like generally is there any breathing philosophy or technique yeah there's a you... there's a technique called the buteco method okay and in that usually what happens is uh, when you're done with your sets you sit you relax but you only breathe through your nose and you starve yourself of oxygen you starve yourself. You try to breathe as little as possible. As if, matlab, if if I keep a mic next to your nose, you, matlab, I shouldn't be the mic shouldn't be able to pick up any sound. Mm. So what it does, it is, it uh, it lowers your resting heart rate. Vaise, it saturates your lungs with carbon dioxide, and then eventually over time, you, matlab, you increase your, ca yeah, yeah, your cardiovascular capacity over time. Oh, so that okay. is one thing I try to, matlab, matlab, tell all my clients. So yeah. So this but, is actually quite con sorry to interrupt, but know. this sounds quite contradictory to what has been taught and told. Yeah. But when I think about it, it makes sense. It's like mm -hmm. uh, like resistance training. You're mm -hmm. trying to make your muscles stronger by mm -hmm. you know micro by creating micro uh, tears in your muscles. Mm -hmm. So by not breathing instead of mm -hmm. breathing a lot during the resting, you're mm -hmm. saying that it actually increases yeah. their capacity yeah. to breathe better. Breathe, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. I've never heard that uh -huh. before. I'll, I'll send you links if you want. I can send. I can. What you can put links all the time. So, in your experience, is that something that you do? Yeah. And ha does it yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, It has. It has definitely worked for me. I've checked it. I've checked. Matlab, regularly, my heart rate, my resting heart rate, and it has definitely worked for me, and a lot of my clients too. So, and 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 always, whenever I'm I'm training someone, I check the VO2 max. So, max in ke volume uptake. Matlab, it's a, sorry, ke max in yeah, a volume of oxygen uptake. So, yeah. So, it has worked for a lot of people.